Good morning. Thank you for joining us for a morning prayer from the Book of Alternative Services. This morning, Thursday, July 22nd. Today, we'll be remembering John Cassian, who is an abbot at Marseille who died around this day in the year 435. So this morning, we remember John Cassian, abbot at Marseille. Let us prepare our hearts as we enter into morning prayer. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and will, will be forever. forever. Amen. Alleluia. Happy are those who have given to the poor. O come, let us worship. Together, we will pray the Venite. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before God's presence with thanksgiving, and raise a loud shout to God with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In God's hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are God's also. The sea is God's, for God made it and God's hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For the Lord is our God, and we are the people of God's pasture, and the sheep of God's hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to God's voice. Let us pray Psalm 67. May God be gracious to us and bless us and make God's face shine upon us that your way may be known among earth, your saving power among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for you judge the peoples with equity and guide the nations upon the earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let the peoples praise you. The earth has yielded its increase. God, our God, has blessed us. May God continue to bless us. Let all the ends of the earth revere our Lord. Happy are they who have given to the poor. O oh, come, let us worship. Our first reading for this morning is taken from the third chapter of the book of Zephaniah. Sing aloud, O daughter Zion. Shout, O Israel. Rejoice and exult with all your heart, O daughter of Jerusalem. The Lord has taken away the judgments against you. The Lord has turned away your enemies. The King of Israel, the Lord is in your midst. You shall fear disaster no more. On that day it shall be said to Jerusalem, Do not fear, O Zion. Do not let your hands grow weak. The Lord your God is in your midst. A warrior who gives great victory. He will rejoice over you with gladness. God will renew you in God's love. God will exult over you with loud singing as on a day of festival. I will remove disaster from you so that you will not bear reproach for it. I will deal with all your oppressors at that time. And I will save the lame and gather the outcasts and I will change their shame into praise and renown in all the earth. At that time I will bring you home, at the time when I gather you, for I will make you renowned and praised among all the peoples of the earth, when I restore your fortunes before your eyes, says the Lord. Hear what the Spirit is mm. saying to the church. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm 116. I love the Lord because the Lord has heard my voice and my supplications, because the Lord has turned God's ear to me. Therefore, I will call on him as long as I live. The snares of death encompassed me. The pangs of Sheol held hold of me. I suffered distress and anguish. Then I called on the name of the Lord, O oh Lord, I pray, save my life. Gracious is the Lord and righteous, our God is merciful. The Lord protects the simple. When I was brought low, the Lord saved me. Return, O oh my soul, to your rest, 
for the Lord has dealt bountifully with you. For you have delivered my soul from death, my eyes from tears, my feet from stumbling. I walked before the Lord in the land of the living. I kept my faith, even when I said, I am greatly afflicted. I said in my consternation, everyone is a liar. What shall I return to the Lord for all the Lord's bounty to me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord in the presence of all of God's people. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of the Lord's faithful ones. O Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant, the child of your serving girl. You have loosed my bonds. I will offer to you a thanksgiving sacrifice and call on the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord in the presence of all of God's people, in the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, O Jerusalem. Praise the Lord. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Our second reading is taken from the ninth chapter of the book of Judith. Then Judith prostrated herself, put ashes on her head, and uncovered the sackcloth she was wearing. At that very time, when the evening incense was being offered in the house of God in Jerusalem, Judith cried out to the Lord with a loud voice and said, For your strength does not depend on numbers, nor your might on the powerful, but you are the God of the lowly, helper of the oppressed, upholder of the weak, protector of the forsaken, savior of those without hope. Please, please, God of my father, God of the heritage of Israel, Lord of heaven and earth, creator of the waters, king of all creation, hear my prayer. Make my deceitful words bring wound and and bruise to those who have planned cruel things against your covenant and against your sacred house and against Mount Zion and against the house of your children possess. Let your whole nation and every tribe know and understand that you are God, the God of all power and might, and that there is no other who protects the people of Israel but you alone. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. So today we remember John Cassian, who was an abbot of Marseille. So a little about John. Born in Romania around the year 365, John Cassian struggled with the problems of living the Christian life in a time when the world seemed to be falling apart. As a young man, he traveled to a monastery in Bethlehem and later moved to Egypt, where he sought the tutelage of the great founders of the aesthetic movement of the desert such as Antony and Marcaius. At the heart of desert monasticism was the idea that the image of God in each person, tarnished by sin but not destroyed, yearns to and has the capacity to love God with the purity of heart with which God loves us. Their aim in desert solitude was to rid themselves of the anxieties and distractions that called their attention away from loving God. Cassian was initiated into this tradition before political pressures forced him to leave Egypt in about 399. He moved to southern Gaul and in about 415 founded a house in Marseille for monks and later a house for women religious. Though Cassian's goal, like that of his desert mentors, was the perfection of the individual soul, he insisted that no one should embark on a monastic vocation mm -hmm. alone. One should enter a house where other monks are pursuing the same goal, live according to a time-tested rule, and thereby gain the guidance and companionship of the community. Though Cassian remained committed to the desert ideal of individual perfection, his insistence on the necessity of Christian community and loving moderation was the basis for Benedictine monasticism, which eventually became the basic spirituality of the Western Church. It was perhaps the paradox that only in community could the Christian soul 
lose sight of earthly things in proportion to the inspiration of its purity, so that with the inner gaze of the soul it sees the glorified Jesus coming in the splendor of God's majesty. John Cassian died in Marseille in about the year 435. So now let us affirm our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And now we invite you to assume whichever posture you find most prayerful for the prayers of the people. Let us pray with confidence to the Lord, saying, Lord, hear our prayer. O Lord, guard and direct your church in the way of unity, service, and praise. Lord, hear our prayer. Give to all nations an awareness of the unity of the human family. Lord, hear our prayer. Cleanse our hearts of prejudice and selfishness and inspire us to hunger and thirst for what is right. Lord, hear our prayer. Teach us to use your creation for your greater praise, that all may share the good things you provide. Lord, hear our prayer. Strengthen all who give their energy or skill for the healing of those who are sick in body or in mind. Lord, hear our prayer. Set free all who are bound by fear and despair. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant a peaceful end and eternal rest to all who are dying and your comfort to those who mourn. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. And you have promised through the well-beloved Son that when two or three gather together, you will hear their requests. Fulfill now our desires and petitions, as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, eternal life. For you, Creator, are good and loving, and we glorify you through the Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, in the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray the Collect of the Day. Holy One, whose beloved Son, Jesus Christ, blessed the pure in heart, grant that we, together with your servant, John Cassian, and in union with his prayers, may ever seek the purity with which to behold you as you are, one God, now and forever. Amen. Together let us pray the Lord's Prayer, saying, Our, Our Father, Father in heaven, heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of peace enable us to do God's will in every kind of goodness, working in us what pleases God through Jesus Christ, to whom be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thanks for joining us for morning prayer. We hope you have a wonderful day.